hello Bella dolls welcome back to my channel today I will be sharing with you guys how I achieve uh, filling in my eyebrows with makeup um, like doing my eyebrows with the makeup on it and this um, tutorial is for like doing your eyebrows if they're ungroomed and I really don't get my eyebrows arched or threaded that much because I'm in the process of trying to grow them out really full so I kind of like leave them in like this naturally bushy kind of state until like I feel they're full enough to get arched and I haven't had them arch now for about three months since my birthday actually but um yeah so I'm going to show you guys the tricks of sometimes you don't need to get your eyebrows arched and if you just want to fill them in really quickly it'll still look just as good so let's get started so the first step that you're going to do is you're going to brush your eyebrows up and my hair is actually flexi rotted up <laughs> just in case you guys want to know what these rollers were so I brush my eyebrow hairs up and then over okay then I start off with a brow powder unfortunately I got this powder when I was in high school and it's still been lasting me um, and if you're in Atlanta Georgia um, I got it from Joan um, it's a place called brows she's now moved to Candle Road so her eyebrow powder is really really good and it's been lasting me for this long so I go ahead and get an angle brush okay I go ahead and get an angle brush and then I go ahead and start <clears throat> outlining my brows and I don't like do it straight across I kind of like flick it and then I go up into the arch and then I go back down where I want my arch to end even though it's like still hairs underneath there I just go a little bit over it because I'm going to put concealer on that and like conceal it and hide it and then I take what's over left over and I come up through the front of the brow okay and then I go ahead and what's left over I'm going to do like hair like motions through the brow and like take all the product that's on that line up into my brow and proportion it evenly evenly so yeah just brush it up into my brow and you don't really have to be too neat with that but don't go like over your brow hairs because we're going to clean that up okay alrighty that's just like the rough draft of it you want to make sure it's all blended in perfectly and then I go ahead and take my brow brush and then I just brush it up to make sure that it's contribute evenly throughout my bra okay now I'm going to take MAC Studio Pro Concealer. This is like one of my favorite ones that's inside of this container. It's kind of old and rubbed off, but this is the NC42. And I'm going to go ahead and get my angle brush. This is the MAC uh, 266 angle brush. Angle brushes are easier for me because it like really makes my line sharp. So I don't start in the front of my brow, I actually start like in the middle and I just like do strokes and then just outline it just like that. And then whatever I have left over I'll just come to the front to just make sure it's like cleaned up. But I put majority of the product where my hairs have grown in. So I'm just going to take that and pull the hairs downwards. not pull the hairs pull the concealer so I'm just going to take that and pull the concealer downwards and I make sure that the concealer is all over the hair so that it can seal and hide those okay and after I do that I just take a dual fiber brush this is my favorite brush it's from um, the real technique collection 
and I absolutely love it to blend out concealer so yeah I'm just going to sweep that back and forth until it's blended I'm not really going to go up too much into um, my arch because I still want to conceal like those little hairs that have grown in so just blend 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 okay now the next step is I'm going to get a MAC eyebrow pencil and I'm going to outline my brows at the top in hair like strokes so make sure that you're not like drawing lines like you don't want to do that that's not what's going to make your brows look natural as possible so yeah I'm just going to clean that up And I have to feel that in right in here, like, because my eyebrows don't grow up um, in that area anymore. So I just try to, like, fill it in and, like, flick it really softly. Okay. Then I'm going to come down just to make sure everything is cleaned up. Okay. All right. Now. What I like to do for my brows at the top, I don't like to use the same concealer at the top because you're supposed to highlight your brows underneath your brow. You're not necessarily supposed to put a highlight at the top and the bottom as well. So I will get, um, I will put my foundation, um, I don't have a full foundation uh, base on now, but normally um, I do my foundation and then my brows, but I just go back over it with um, my foundation at the top and this foundation I'm using is the NARS uh, foundation this is the velvet matte skin tint so I just go over it and once again I start in the middle not on the t not in the very front of my brow I'm just going to hair like stroke it Alrighty, make sure it's all cleaned up. <clears throat> now I'm going to get my dual fiber brush again and be very careful to just go slightly over it. Alrighty, so as you guys can see, this is my brow before I fill them in, and this is my brow afterwards. It's a big, huge difference. <laughs> yes, so as you can tell, this is the eyebrow after I have filled it in, and this is my natural eyebrow. And that's the reason why I really don't get them done like that, because if I'm going out, I can just simply fill in my eyebrows. I hope that you dolls enjoyed this tutorial of filling in your eyebrows even if they are not groomed. And I can't wait to see you ladies in my next tutorial. Have a nice day.